So we're still in the process of making this surcoat off of Ula Unsrund. I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing your name. I watch your uh, channel all the time and we're basing this off of the one you made. And actually Dingo has done, Kim, Kim has done 99% of the work. I kind of did the, maybe call it the design phase. So the interior is linen. We've done the quilting in the lines the way he did. It's lined with a little bit of padding and mostly linen. The very bottom where the dags are, we did some dags. Our dags didn't come out quite as even as we had hoped. This is the first it's, time doing something like this. This is the like first this. time doing We never worked with silk before. So this silk that uh, we dyed and uh, did, a, did a charge based on several different medieval monarchs. Um, Robert the Bruce with his lion. And then uh, we also found, uh, um, ah, brain is not working. Uh, one of the kings of Norway and then one of the kings of uh, Sweden both had a similar rampant lion. So we found that and he's crowned and he's gonna basically look like this when she finishes the embroidery on the lion. But right now we have the lions cut out and this is kind of a really neat silk for the charge that as you change position, yeah. it has a neat shimmer that has kind of almost a purple to it. It's so, a gold to purple Dupani silk two-tone. That what that is, Dupani silk. And uh, that's going to be the main charge. So, take thumb. We're trying to, uh-oh, that's going to turn it into a short now that we've turned it this. Turn it back sideways. There we go gonna basically have this little lion on it this is the front right yeah or the back because it'll be on both ways so i have that little lion like that i want to use a gold one <laughs> but he'll be uh he'll be golden and so um you see this gold lion or this rampant lion and lots of scandinavian uh uh coats of arms and it's Was just thinking about saying the name of the king. It was, anyway, was it Olaf? Might have been Olaf. Anyway, there's a... And then you see it in a bunch of the different Scandinavian countries. You also see it in Robert the Bruce's arms. Um, people don't know a lot of the connection between the, the, the Norse and Scotland. Uh, the the Hibernio Norse stayed in kind of the northern islands of Scotland all the way till... Well, <laughs> till, till the Bruce was around and a little bit after. So there's a big Scandinavian connection to Scotland. Uh, so, and then... Uh, uh, when uh, when the king died, it was his niece who was the queen, uh, princess of Norway, that was supposed to come in, and she was supposed to become the queen of Scotland and marry Edward II. But she died on the way, and that's kind of how the whole uh, the the genesis of the Scottish Wars of Independence with Robert the Bruce and William Wallace and Andrew Murray um, and uh, the Jamie Douglas Senior all happened. So anyway, that's how we came up with this, and so I kind of did a color shift of the arms of Robert the Bruce instead of being yellow and red we went with blue and gold for the uh, kingdom the make-believe kingdom that we are working in but we tried to do it in a historical fashion and this is how far we are right now with a linen line with linen interior with a little bit of padding and then it's uh, sewn to quilt it and reinforce it and then it's going to have silk charges on the silk um well, mounted on linen mounted first. on linen just like olan ola I can't, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his name right, I, but I love his channel. I'll, I'll try to figure out how to put links in here and link to it. We have the, the, the silk is mounted to the linen to reinforce it, to then do it as an applique and then, well, to embroider it and details like the eyes and the tongue and the little claws and things like that, and then applique it to the, uh, to the surcoat. And that's going to be how this one's going to be done. And then we're going to do a wool one and probably a much simpler one that's just going to be for running around and playing in that'll probably just be a couple of layers of linen. And by we, I mean Kim will sew because I can barely feel most of my fingers and so I can't sew for crap. I'm not good at it. She is very, very good and I have been, tr I am trying to help her but I can only do things like draw lines and stand still. So she is wonderful at this particular craft. I am not so much. But we wanted to show you the progress on this and hopefully, hopefully in the next 48 hours we'll have a nearly completed surcoat and maybe next weekend we'll have a fully completed surcoat. So uh, like and subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed this. And uh, kind of an homage to, to Ulan, Ola, Ula.
I'll say it right one day to to the to the uh, circuit that he made, based off of the Edward the Black Prince circuit.